If you find this video interesting, then please like and share it. Also, leave your comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon for notifications. Let us now consider this problem. Consider the beam shown. Determine the reactions at supports A and B of the beam using principle of virtual work. We have to find the following three reactions. Vertical reaction at B and both horizontal and vertical reaction at A. Let us first find the vertical reaction at B. We will first impart a small angular displacement delta theta at A as shown in the figure. Using the distance of each point from point A and the formula S is equal to Rd theta where R is the distance of each point from point A. We can find the angular displacement at point B, C, D and E. Applying the principle of virtual work, we get summation du is equal to zero. We can now directly multiply the forces acting at the points B, C, D and E with the respective displacements B, B dash, C, C dash, D, D dash and E, E dash respectively. On substituting the forces and their virtual angular displacements and then simplifying, we get vertical reaction at B equal to 2.647 kN acting vertically upwards. Next, we will find the horizontal reaction at point A. We will now impart a small virtual horizontal displacement delta x about the x-axis as shown in the figure. Applying principle of virtual work, we get summation du is equal to zero. On substituting the forces and their virtual horizontal displacement delta x and then simplifying, we get horizontal reaction at A equal to 7.563 kN acting to the right. Next, we will find the vertical reaction at point A. We will now impart a vertical angular displacement delta theta at B as shown. Using the distance of each point from point B and the formula S is equal to Rd theta where R is the distance of each point from point B, we can find the angular displacement at point A and C. The points E and D will have displacements in both horizontal and vertical direction. Displacement about the horizontal direction can be directly found by calculating the product of distance from the point A and delta theta. They will have the same displacement along the vertical directions as A, D and E are lying on the same member. Applying principle of virtual work, we get summation of du is equal to zero. We can now directly multiply the forces acting at the points C, A, D and E with the respect displacements CC dash, AA dash, DD dash and EE dash respectively. We must remember that both points D and E will have displacements in both horizontal and vertical directions. On substituting the forces and their virtual angular displacements and then simplifying, we get vertical reactions at A equal to 4.65 kN acting downwards. If you find this video interesting, then please like and share it. Also, leave your comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon for notifications.